Hello and welcome. It is 8.30. It is the 29th day of August 2021. August 4th is my birthday. You better get me a birthday present. I'm sorry, 29th day of July 2021. August 4th is my birthday. You better get me a present. And obviously I need coffee. All right, so apparently I missed Gary Gygax Day, which was the 27th of this month. I apologize. I'm sure I knew that and just was doing other things and completely forgot about it. So a couple days late, but here is my Gary Gygax Day thing. So one of the comments that I read uh, from somebody was that I don't know what Dungeons and Dragons is and Gary Gygax didn't tell stories, which of course we've already discussed the topic of telling stories in Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, Gary Gygax told stories. Every DM tells a story. Every DM I've ever met has told a story. If there's DMs out there that aren't telling stories, I haven't heard of them because it really comes down to the definition of story, beginning, middle, twist, end. An adventure is a story that the DM tells. The player characters do things in the adventure that changes the story. The DM reacts to what the player characters do and tells the story of how their actions play out. So that's a story for whether you like it or not. So somebody said Gary Gygax didn't tell stories, and I didn't know what Dungeons and Dragons was. So here's a story that Gary Gygax told that you may or may not be aware of. Um, I do not know how accurate this is. This is what I've been told, and this is what I've read. Uh, but as with anything relating to issues from 50 some odd years ago, the story may have become muddled. The facts may be correct, incorrect. It does kind of make sense when you look at the facts that I know. So it could be true. I think it's true. Everything I've read leads me to believe it's true. But again, it could not. I mean, you know, whatever. Uh, so... This is the story that Gary Gygax wanted to tell across a series of modules that will, and how those modules interconnected and how he always intended them to interconnect. And of course, I'm talking about Village of Hamlet, Temple of Elemental Evil. Now, Village of Hamlet was supposed to tell the story of the events of Village of Hamlet, and that would lead to the characters going through Temple of Elemental Evil. Once you finish Temple of Elemental Evil, Gary's in his mind, from what I've been told, the next story was the Slave Lord stories, A1, A2, A3, where the player characters would be captured by these slavers, taken to a faraway land, have to escape, have to deal with the political actions of these slavers and what they're up to, and, you know, get back home and the series of adventures that would result in that. Then from the story of Against the Slavers, that was supposed to go straight into Against the Giants. The events of the Slave Lords would be hints of Against the Giants. Then you would have G1, G2, G3, Hill Giants, Frost Giant, Fire Giant. The player characters would work their way through Against the Giants, where we and to the next modules, which the court was Descent to the Depths of the Earth, where we encounter the Drow for the first time, and all these other weird underground races, like the Swaggin and, uh, you know, the, the octopus lady and mushrooms. And then, and this is where things deviate from what Mr. Gygax wanted to happen and what actually happened was that the story was then supposed to go back to the Temple of Elemental Evil because through against the giants, the big main bad guys behind everything the characters had encountered was supposed to be the elemental princes that they thought that they had defeated in elemental evil. But it was actually supposed to go back to a much more deadlier version of Temple of Elemental Evil. Now, as we know, the Dro show up pretty much for the first time as an actual interactive plot device in the G series and in Descent to the Deaths of the Earth. Now, from what I've been told, Gygax did not intend for the Dro to be the big bad guys at the end of the story. He intended the Elemental Princes to be the big bad guys at the end of the story. And you were supposed to go through Descent and then cycle back to a much more 
revised, more powerful, more deadly version of Temple of Elemental Evil as you finally dealt with the Elemental Princess. But apparently there were some creative differences and those in the power at the time felt that the Dro were a much more marketable bad guy and things that they wanted to sell stories with because the idea of sexy bondage elves was going to sell a lot better with a bunch of preteen males at that point in time in history than, you know, slime lords and weird elemental lords and talking funguses. And let's face it, you look at the cover of, you know, the modules and you've got the dro lady and her chain mail with her legs spread. And yeah, you know, that's going to sell to the target mar market audience, you know, preteen teenage boys and stuff and the young men. And oh, look at that dro. I can see her. Oh. So... Gygax's story was circumvented. He never got to finish it. And instead, the bad guys became the Drow, and we had, you know, Vault of the Drow and all that other stuff. But that's the story Gygax wanted to tell. Village of Homlet, Temple of Elements of Leafville, getting captured by and escaping from the slavers who would be working for the giants, dealing with the giants, following the trail of clues into the Odor Dark, finding out that the elemental lords had not been defeated in the temple of elemental evil and were behind everything that it had happened to the player characters, including riling up the giants for this big giant war, circling back to finally confronting the elemental lords in their home, whatever dimension, which would have been more of sort of an updated, tougher version of temple of elemental evil and finally dealing with, with the Elemental Lords. That was the st story Gary wanted to tell. At least that is the way I have been told. And that is what I've read. Again, it could not be true. But Gary's story was circumvented because the Dro were a much easier thing to market as bad guys. And because, you know, they're hot and bondage and black leather bikinis and girls cosplaying as Dro. So, yeah, so there is an example of a story Gary Gygax tried to tell. So for anybody who thinks that DMs don't tell stories, there you go. For anybody who thinks Gary Gygax didn't tell stories, there you go. And for anybody who thinks I don't understand Dungeons & Dragons, dude, nobody understands Dungeons & Dragons because no two people play it the same way, run it the same way, or think it means the same thing. It is an individual experience for everybody who plays it and so there's no right way there well there can be wrong ways but there's no wrong ways and i don't understand dungeons and dragons any more than you do but i do know that as a dm i can tell stories maybe they're not grand epic lord of the rings twilight stories or whatever it is you read but they're stories happy gary gygax day a few days late if you appreciate this content let me know if you want to hear more stuff like this, let me know. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and help me hit 1,000 subs by 2025. Till next time, I'm your grumpy guide to all things gaming. Make sure your stories are always awesome. Get off my lawn. I'll talk to you later.